Welcome to this episode of Video Drone. So we're going to fly on this guy out here right now. So I've checked hover. I'm good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and get this guy in the air. And so we got it in the air. I want to start video recording. I should have screen recording going. And so I want to take it, uh, get it framed out, and let's take it up and out. And uh, let's take it out there a little bit more. And let's take it up into the air. And boy, this, this is a big one. And let's see if we can't frame it back around here. And this is an ore freighter coming down lake. So... And she's coming down lake. You know what? I was in such a hurry, I forgot to take the gimbal guard off. So uh, we're just going to have to fly this one with the, the gimbal guard on, I guess. Yeah, she was coming down and I wanted to be able to grab it, so uh, the video on this may not be the best. Yeah, because it's, com it's complaining about gimbal motor overload. I'm going to bring it back real quick. And see if I can't get take that gimbal guard off. Yeah, because I'm afraid what that gimbal guard is going to do to it. Here it comes back. Might get some tail end of the ship. Yeah, here we go. That's what you get when you're in a hurry. So this is the uh, Edgar B. Spear. So we're flying on the Edgar B. Spear today. Now I'm gonna bring it down rather quickly. I'm just going to set it right on the rocks. And uh, as you can see, I left the gimbal guard on it. Let's take the gimbal guard off. This might be a little bit happier. Um, I'm going to reset the copter. Okay, so it appears to be ready to fly again. I'm going to go ahead and retake it up. And whoops. Get the video going. Get it up there. Yeah, we got the tail end of it. So, yeah, we're catching it just as it passes the bridge. So I want to go ahead, I want to gain some more altitude on it. And we got some more altitude on it. And I want to take it out that way a little bit. And we're taking it out that way. I don't go too far. I don't want to go over that Coast Guard base. But I'm going to gather a little bit more altitude as we watch it drift down. Yeah, so there you go. That's what you get in a hurry. So I got down here. I got down here. I saw the ship. We got another ship sitting out there. I don't know if he's going to come down or he's just waiting. Um, but I came down to the beach and, you know, you got to take an opportunity when you get it, and that uh, darn gimbal guard got me. That's the second time that that's happened to me, so uh, that I've flown with that gimbal guard. 
So anyways, live and learn, I guess, a little bit. And so we're just watching it drift down there. I'm going to angle it down a little bit more so we get a center framing as it crosses the Blue Water Bridge. Crosses underneath of it. Just beautiful view. I can't uh, see it from my view. Copter is sitting way up there, higher than the lighthouse. So uh, that's kind of catching some views. I want to take it up a little bit more. And uh, wind's kicking up a little bit. So we're getting some nice views of it cross underneath the bridge. And so that's, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. And just watching it drift down. So yeah, we get quite a few of the ore freighters coming down from the Upper Peninsula. Uh, where they mine limestone. Um, not too much iron ore, I don't think, anymore. If uh, any of you boat nerd buffs out there want to correct me, please do below. I'd love to know. So, uh, you know, because one of the things I do is I check the boat nerd site uh, for when ships are coming through here to, you know, kind of get, you know, when they're coming through so I can get them like this one. So, uh, anyways, he's, he's passing, you know, underneath the bridge now down... Uh, down lake as we say up here in Port Huron so uh, I'm just kind of watching it drift out I still got some pretty good battery life so uh, I got some time so again you kind of got to see a real life um, hey problem so uh, you know I kind of like to show you guys the good bad and the ugly I can always edit out that's one of the things I can always edit out the ugly if I wanted but I really don't I try to leave it in there because one of the things that I, I want to do with these videos is is offer you guys hey this is how things really work and this is what you should really expect when you go out and these are the mistakes I'm making so maybe you can double check them and don't make them for yourself so anyways just still capturing some real real nice video of him going down lake so I'm just kind of hanging out here uh, capturing this video one of the things I want I'm trying to do is build up a pretty good repository of, of video for the winter time when I can fly. Um, even though I usually do fly a little bit in the winter, uh, you know, obviously not as much as I can when it's warmer out. Uh, and especially if it gets too cold, you know, if it's up around anywhere from say 40 to the high 20s, I'll fly. Now, this is one of the things, as you guys know, I picked up the Up Air 1 Plus again. I've had the Up Air 1 before, and I got the Up Air 1 Plus now. And I'm going to use that for winter flying over the lake for a couple different reasons. Number one, the Phantom can get a little bit testy with lower temperatures. It's smarter than the up air. And second, if I lose the up air, I'm going to cry less than if I lost the Phantom or the Spark. So, uh, you know, that's sort of the big thing with that. So we're still getting some good video of him just uh, drifting down. We're up about 150 feet, so we're actually... Uh, sitting in a pretty good perspective. We got uh, the water tower for the paper plant, which is over there. You can probably see it in the hat cam, uh, if I've dubbed in the hat cam. Um, so it's up there way above that, just kind of watching the ship drift down. When it gets to a low battery, I think I'm going to run it back up. Uh, I think I'll probably do a couple fl uh, more flights in this sequence. Uh, maybe uh, take a run out to the buoy. I'll check Boat Nerd again. I think I should have another... Um, ship on the way up lake so uh, I'll have to see I don't see him on the screen down there I was expecting uh, two. this guy the Edward B Spears going down and I was expecting another one on the way up uh, but I haven't seen him yet or her I guess uh, could be her um, you know that's something I don't think I've ever remember seeing a freighter with a female name thinking about it hmm wonder if there's a reason for that. Anyways, so he's just kind of drifting down there. I'm getting kind of low on battery. So I think I'm going to now take this and yaw this back around. And fly this back, back this way to kind of let it count down and then uh, bring it in. So I'm about 90, about 100 feet away. I'm going to start bringing this down in altitude. i got to watch I don't bring it down too much into the drinker too fast. Oh, I'm bringing it down. All right. 
and we're counting down as we bring it down. And I can now hear it. Ah, there it is. And let's bring it over and stick it back. And we're bringing it down. A little bit of a glare out here today, so I'm having to squint a little bit seeing it, so I'm kind of focusing on it. All right, I should be roughly over, over land. I don't want to bring it down too fast if I'm over the water, so. And here we go. And we got a little bit of wind gusting up and we still need to back it up and bring it over a little bit. Don't run it into myself. And uh, yeah, I want to get a little bit forward. I prefer to get it on the stones than the sand. Yeah, we got it pretty close. So cancel, confirm landing, save video. So we saved the video. So uh, anyways, uh, pretty good flight other than we screwed up and we left the gimbal guard on. So lessons learned. There is another ship way out there. So I don't know what they're doing on the far side over there. But uh, anyways, we've had a good flight of the uh, Spark over Lake Huron again. So, uh, you know, caught some good uh, freighter picks as it's going down lake. So enjoyed ourselves. Today was a bologna sandwich for lunch. Let me know what you guys had. It's a pretty common bologna sandwich for me. If I'm working from home, that's eh, usually what I have. Maybe a peanut butter jelly once in a while. If my wife's not around, I sneak it. So uh, a lot of carbs. So anyways, cheers. Catch you in the next video.